The Chernobyl power plant explosion is said to be one of the worst nuclear disasters in history. To this day, it has had a lasting impact on Pripyat and the surrounding areas. But turns out there are some places on Earth more radioactive and contaminated than Chernobyl. From Fukushima to military nuclear testing grounds. Let's talk about all this and more only in today's video. Hey everyone, what's up? And welcome back to Most Amazing Top 10. I'm your favorite Most Amazing host, Lindsay Ivan, and today we are looking at the top 10 places more contaminated than Chernobyl. Before I begin, smash that like button, obviously subscribe to our channel and comment something down below. Now we'll get on with the video. Starting off this countdown, we have Fukushima. Due to the Fukushima nuclear disaster, Japan is said to be one of the world's most radioactive places. In 2011, an earthquake triggered a tsunami that ended up flooding the nuclear power plant and knocking out emergency generators. The power plant survived the earthquake, but the tsunami was twice as powerful as the plant was designed to tolerate. It led to the plant's three reactors leaking radioactive materials everywhere. The material contaminated wastewater and leaked into the Pacific Ocean. As a result, this is considered the most severe nuclear accident since Chernobyl. To this day, people are still cleaning up the nuclear waste and contaminated water there. In fact, 1.25 million tons of radioactive water is currently being stored at Fukushima. What's scary is that next year they won't be able to store anymore, so they're looking at releasing it into the sea. Obviously, it will be treated first, but still, it won't be good for the marine life or the water. Moving on at number 9, we have the Dugway Proving Ground. Located in Utah, the Dugway Proving Ground is the main biological and chemical weapons testing site for the US Army. During 1949 to 1952, four major types of radiation weapons tests took place there. First, we got the cluster bombs. Cluster bombs weighed about a ton each and they were dropped from airplanes flying at 20,000 feet. They then would explode when they reached 800 feet above the ground, spreading radioactive particles everywhere. These tests released between 1,500 to 30,000 curries of radiation each. Then we have the small pellet tests. Again, this involved dropping small radioactive pellets over the area from a high altitude. Then we have the radioactive specks. Basically, a dust generator would fly over the area and spew radioactive specks all over that area. They also tested exploding radioactive metal in different shapes to see what would spread the contamination the best. Each test released about 100 curries of radiation. In our 8th spot today, we have the abandoned hospital in Brazil. Now we'll be talking about an abandoned hospital site in Brazil that used to perform radiation therapy for cancer patients. On September 13th in 1987, a bunch of individuals broke into the abandoned hospital and stole some parts from a teletherapy unit, thinking it would be worth some money. Little did they know that they took home something highly radioactive. That night, upon bringing it home, the two men became very sick and threw up. In the following days, the two men became worse and worse. One of the men actually had his hand swell and he had to get it partially amputated. Little did they know what was causing this. While this was all happening, they gave this radioactive piece of equipment to a number of different people. In fact, one of the guys even dismantled it, spreading cesium all over a large area. In the end, four people died as a result of this incident and 250 others were injured from exposure to radioactive contamination. A cleanup crew was sent to decontaminate the area. Topsoil was removed in several areas and a number of houses were demolished. To this day, it's said to be one of the world's worst nuclear disasters and one of the world's worst radiological incident. In our seventh spot, we have Hanford Site. Located in Washington, D.C., the Hanford Site is said to be one of the world's most radioactive places. So during the Cold War, the U.S. used this site as its main plutonium production facility for their nuclear weapons. In the end, they produced enough plutonium for around 60,000 nuclear weapons, including the plutonium that was used in the Fat Man bomb that was dropped on Nagasaki in 1945. Now this place has since been decommissioned, but still contains about 60% of high level radioactive waste. Most of the waste has been buried underground, but that wasn't a good decision because large areas of groundwater have since become contaminated. Coming in at number 6 we have D'Abervilliers, Paris. During the 1920s to 1930s, two individuals, Frederick and Irene Joliet Curry, conducted a number of studies on radioactivity in this area. In particular, they were experimenting with salts of radium to Later on, the French army took over these experiments, and they seriously contaminated the fort. In the 1990s, 61 barrels of cesium-137 and radium-226 were found stored there, as well as about 160,000 gallons of contaminated soil. Over the years, they have tried to decontaminate the area, but in 2006, more contaminated areas were uncovered. People in the area were being exposed to radioactivity, and they didn't even know it. In fact, a high 
high percentage of people living in the surrounding area were found to have cancer. Although they deny that this site has anything to do with it, it seems quite obvious that it does. We are now at our fifth and halfway mark with Anawetok Island. This island is part of the Marshall Islands in the Pacific Ocean. In 1946 up until 1958, the US government conducted 67 nuclear tests in the Marshall Islands. In 1951, the first ever hydrogen bomb was tested there. As a result, a number of atolls got contaminated including Anawetok. In fact, it's said that the Marshall Islands to this day are still more radioactive than Chernobyl and Fukushima. Isn't that insane? So when testing the soil, researchers found that the island had toxic levels 10 to 1000 times higher than the soil in Fukushima. And it's about 10 times more toxic than the soil found in Chernobyl. On top of that, the government said that this is a cause for great concern. The US government had to relocate an entire population because it was exposing them to cancer and other illnesses due to the radiation. But people still live there despite this huge concern. In 1980, hundreds of people gathered on this island and participated in a radioactive cleanup. But still, the levels on this island are highly unsafe. Coming in at number 4 we have Ronglap Atoll. Surprise surprise, another dangerously radioactive atoll located on the Marshall Islands. Researchers have found that this island has the highest levels of external gamma radiation than all of the islands they examined in the study. Soil samples from the area also expose that they have high concentrations of radioactive isotopes. Not only that, but researchers also found that the fruits on the islands contained more cesium-137 than is permitted by safety standards. And some of the islands also contained more cesium-137 than Chernobyl ever had. In our third spot today, we have Sellafield, United Kingdom. This is another place that has been given the name one of the world's most radioactive places. Back in the day during the Cold War, Sellafield was the site where weapon grade nuclear materials were produced for the UK's nuclear weapon program. However, in 1957, one of the wind scale pipes caught on fire and 11 tons of uranium was on fire for three days. As a result, radioactive materials started spreading across the Lake District. It was deemed Britain's worst nuclear accident. On top of that, no one evacuated and no one received iodine pills. In fact, some people didn't even know about the fire. They tried to keep it all hush hush. And workers were just told to keep on working. That was until they found that golf courses, milk, and chickens, among other things, were getting contaminated. To this day, the plant releases around 2.3 million gallons of contaminated waste into the sea on a daily basis. In fact, this has made the Irish Sea the most radioactive sea in the world. Moving on to number two, we have the Siberian Chemical Combine. This is another place contaminated by high levels of radiation. Located in Russia, this was one of the production facilities used to produce nuclear products for the Soviet nuclear weapons program. But after the fall of the Soviet Union in 1991, the facility stopped its production of plutonium and uranium. But to this day, this combine keeps on contaminating underground waters. This has to do with the explosion that took place on April 6, 1993. As a result of the explosion, tens of thousands of people were exposed to high levels of radiation and contaminated air, water, and soil. In fact, it's said that 10 grams of plutonium is released into the atmosphere there each year. In 2008, a study of the area found increased levels of plutonium and cesium-137 in soils and water samples, suggesting the plant is still leaking. And in our number one spot today, we have the Bikini Atoll. This is another atoll located in the Marshall Islands. Turns out that depending on how long you stay there, you could get exposed to as much radiation as you would get from one to 64 chest x-rays. That's insane. So in 1954, this area was the site for the US's largest hydrogen bomb test. The blast from this bomb was thousands of times more powerful as the bombs dropped on Japan during World War II. As a result, Bikini Island is said to have the highest levels of radiation in all of the Marshall Islands. In fact, in 1946, residents were forced to relocate. So they were actually shipped around to a number of different islands. They kept moving these people around because of lack of water and food sources. Then in the 1960s, the government said that the islands were safe to live on again and they were no longer radioactive, which was not the case. And they soon found the levels of radiation were still dangerously high, so everyone had to leave again. In fact, this location is said to be more radioactive 
Radioactive, then Chernobyl, and Fukushima. All right, guys, that's all for today's video. Let's move on to our comment shout out portion. I'll be shouting out comments from the video. Top 10 terrifying signals from space that should have been kept a secret, part three. Chris Bowes commented, love the NSYNC shirt. LOL, their album No Strings Attached was the very first album I owned. It was the first album that I owned too, and I stole it from my brother, and then my cousin stole it from me, and now I don't know where it is. Luke Moore commented, Lindsay, I love the work you and your team do. Can't get enough. I would love a shout out in your next video. If not, it's okay. Keep up the good work. Best wishes for you and your team. Well, Luke Moore, here you go. Here's your shout out. I love the comment. Um, you're super sweet. I love it, and I love the support. Thank you. Comrade Bear commented, we can just rename this video Weird Space ASMR. Dude, I feel like I should do a reaction to that. Somebody needs to compile it all together and I'll react to it. Someone do it, I'll do it. All right guys, that's all the comments I'm shouting out for today's video. Make sure to comment something down below for a chance to be featured in my next comment shout out. And as always, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to Most Amazing Top 10 for more amazing videos. I've been your host, Lindsay Ivan, and I'll see you when I see ya.